Killer Phil, kicking the competition. Yeah. Welcome to The Grounded Gamer, I am Jay Fonzarelli and I'm here to bring you some info dropped by several insiders, including Brad Sams of Therot.com, who just so happened to be on RDX Podcast this last Tuesday with us, where he gave us some info on a rumored controller coming. Yes, I know, if you're like me, you don't want to hear about a controller on Microsoft's stage at E3, but it seems this may be happening. Now, if you're a fan of the Elite controller, you'll be happy to know that the Elite version 2 might be on its way to the platform, and it just might be unveiled on Microsoft stage at this year's E3. Now, thankfully, that wasn't the only bit of info Brad dropped on the show Tuesday night, but he also mentioned that Microsoft will be running gameplay for Halo Infinite, and if that isn't cool enough, it's going to be running on a PC with comparable specs to that of what we'll see on the next Xbox console, the Anaconda. Of course, this is their high-end console they'll be releasing next gen, or next year, I should say. It's that soon. But honestly, what better way to get the buzz going for Xbox than to show this game in its best light. Personally, I'm hoping they'll show more games this way, as it would just make more sense. And for anyone saying, well, using a PC to show it off won't be indicative of what the actual games will look like, have you seen Metro Exodus running on the Xbox One X? That game was just as stunning as it was shown at E3 in 2017, folks. And again, that was running on a PC with comparable specs to the Xbox One X. Microsoft is promising a big show. This one is to be their longest running show ever in just about two hours. And if the last couple of Xbox E3s are any indication, this show should be filled with plenty of games. Everything from their third party games like Cyberpunk 2077 to the 14 first party games that are stated to be shown on the stage, it sounds like it's going to be one awesome show. But I have to ask, out of those 14 first party games, how many of those games will be AAA IPs that appeal to a much wider audience? Because let's be real, if we're getting games like Super Lucky's Tale or Sea of Thieves, while I don't speak for every gamer, a lot of us I know would not be happy with this. I guess we'll find out in a couple of days, but on that note, what are you guys hoping they show on stage? What kind of games do you guys want to see? Let me know down below. Now for me personally, I'm just hoping for some new IPs. That's what I want to see. I think Microsoft would benefit the most from some great new AAA IPs. Now Brad Sams also told us that it's rumored that 3 out of the 14 games are brand new IPs. This is fantastic news if true folks, but I have to say that this is all speculation at this point. We don't know, and we'll find out in just a couple of days. But I I really hope that they do show at least three new IPs. That would be fantastic for the company, for the brand, for competition. Going forward, I think that would be excellent to see that next gen, they do have some new IPs lined up. The Halos, the Gears, those are fine, those are great, but I really need to see some new IPs here. Now, I think they need to show at least one huge mature IP that's, say, a third-person action-adventure game, maybe big open world. That's the sort of game I would like to see them create. But what about you guys? What would you like them to show as far as new IPs? Let me know what you guys think down below. E3 has long been an exciting time for gamers. It is indeed the Super Bowl of gaming, and even without Sony on board this year, which I am definitely bummed about, I still think this can be an amazing show, and with everything Phil Spencer has been saying and all the rumors swirling about, it really does seem like Xbox is not going to relax and play it safe just because Sony isn't there. In fact, I fully expect Microsoft to show off some great games, again, both first and third party, speak a little on their cloud tech and services, but also at least give us an idea of what their next gen consoles will be capable of, all to try to generate some buzz, rekindle some of that lost interest, and to curb the criticism from so many gamers this generation. Now, in my opinion, most of this criticism was warranted, especially in the area of Xbox's first party. Their first party games have been a major point of contention among gamers. But I have to say, with all of the studios Xbox has acquired since last E3, it's very apparent that this is indeed an area they're trying to correct. And if they make good here at this year's E3 and they show some great new IPs, awesome third party games, and yes, even show off or speak on the power of the next gen consoles, Microsoft will be putting itself into a great position at the start of the next coming generation. 
This has been The Grounded Gamer, and I want to thank each and every one of you for viewing this video. Please remember to comment here. Let me know what you would like Microsoft to show on their stage. Microsoft's conference is only two days away. Such an exciting time right now. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you guys think about all of this before the big show. And also, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe and like button if you like what you see here. Until next time, folks, try to be the best possible you, be kind to one another, and of course, as usual, game on.